fun. Silly, but fun. Sounds like I've got the tree pollen in my throat. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me if I sound like I have a cold. I don't have a cold. I think I'm just stopped up from all the new spring like uh, weather here. We've got tornadoes flying around and everything else. But anyway, back to this, this little beauty. You might be wondering what in the heck is Artis and Tony doing with a, an AR lower receiver and a strip down lower at that. Yep, this is going to be a funky build. And since I'm not the lover that most of you are of the AR platform, I'm a lover of the AK platform, I wanted to see if I could not make a cheap AR. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, you get what you pay for. And that's fine. I don't, I don't expect to get much. But I am going to make it funky. And what I mean by that is I'm going to use a Woodstock system and um, I'm also getting an A2 upper I think it's a Colt well I've bid on it anyway uh, it's a, it's gonna be a 20 inch uh, barrel uh, I think it's a heavy barrel it may be hand forged I've looked at I've looked at like 30 uppers in the past couple of days so they're all starting to run together in my head but this should be a pretty neat project and if any of you uh, actually know anything about me, you know that I do I despise plastic. The only thing in plastic that I will tolerate is uh, Old Faithful here. But on my rifles, I really just want some steel and wood and maybe some other alloyed metals. But obviously this is a, an aluminum uh, lower, so but it's pretty tough. By the way, it's a Palomino Armory lower. Like I said, I looked at so many of them um, over the past couple of weeks. I finally settled on this one after talking to several people about the whole concept of the lower. And this one was $89. And uh, I think I got it on Gun Broker. But, you know, obviously it came from Palomino Arms. Um, Armory, sorry. So anyway, let me kind of give you an idea of what uh, this might look like when it's finished. This is the upper that I'm thinking I may end up with. Since it's a chrome-lined uh, hammer forged, 20-inch barrel, and of course that plastic will come off, and I'll show you the wood stock system in a second. I'm hoping this matches that matte finish on the lower. Pretty sure it will. So if it's going to be something similar to that. that that's a Colt, just your standard uh, government style with a 20 inch barrel. Okay, so here's the wood stock set that I bought. The fella said that it was uh, made by one of the apple seed people. And if that is true, it should look something like uh, this when it's done. Which I'm hoping. And uh, I like that uh, wall. It looks like a uh, cherry, maybe, stain. I don't know. I have to maybe experiment with some stain colors. So that looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm excited about this. And it um, should be a neat project. I'm not sure exactly what the cost is going to be when I'm done. This was 95 I'm sorry, $89 with the uh, transfer fee of, uh, I think, around $37. The uh, I've got a parts kit that's coming that was around $50 for the lower. I think, let's see, the stock kit was $175. The upper is going to be somewhere around... 460 I think when I get the bolt carrier group in it the uh, A2 style upper that I was showing you earlier does not come with a bolt carrier group so I've had to order a, a separate bolt carrier group for it but anyway it should be kind of cool I'll have to add up all the costs by the way since I've got all my junk here um, 
I was, I was watching uh, Looking For Me Marbles uh, yesterday, and he was, he kind of called me out on my <laughs> EDC. So I said, well, it's not very complicated. It's actually very simple. I'm a, I'm a keychain guy. So I've got my Kershaw on my keychain. So I can do this left-handed. And uh, let me change hands here. See, it's used. I use it every day, faithfully. Let's see what else is on here. I always carry a little flashlight. It's a little solitaire, Mac, Mac light solitaire. And that's funny. I still have this uh, uh, ferro rod on here from when we went camping last. That's funny. So anyway, kind of a keychain guy. I've got my phone, obviously, and my my uh, Casio a Pathfinder watch that's got uh, you know compass and um, see if I can yeah I'm not holding it level but yeah and altimeter and barometer and <laughs> 20 other functions I don't know how to use <laughs> but I use the compass a lot it's a neat it's a neat watch it's a one thing I saw uh, no buzz killing mentioned about this watch is that and he he, was, he and I were talking about it that the light does not stay lit very long you can see there and the reason for that is because this watch is a hundred percent solar powered I don't know if you can see the little solar cells around the edges it's dirty but the, I'm sure they're trying to minimize power usage so that's kind of awkward. You basically have to hold it, you know, lit. Same thing. But that's a pretty good watch. So anyway, oh by the way, Old Faithful, Glock 19, there. So that's uh, loaded, loaded and ready. So I'm not gonna mess with that right now. But um, that's it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to have the uh, some more parts in soon. And I may end up actually refinishing that stock because it looks like it's worn a little or it has faded or the finish or something is dull on it. So maybe that'll be a, a part in the video series. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching as always. And thanks a lot, guys.